Hi there. In this quick video I'm going to compare these two USB Type-C adapters. Ok, you might be thinking, obviously this has a standard uh, uh, USB connector on it and USB Type-C on the other end. This one has micro USB on one end and USB Type-C on the other. But there's more to it than that. Let me just uh, rip this thing off. Ok, because this was uh, actually new. Uh, this thing is more than meets the eye. This is a USB on the go connector, adapter. So I can plug this thing inside my phone. Let me just show you. I'm going to zoom out just a tiny bit. Let me go into a file manager. We are in the file manager now. Plug in this USB stick inside this. Okay, almost dropped my phone, that's not ideal. And plug it in my phone. Hopefully it will actually work with the case on. I'm too lazy to get it off. And as you can see, it sees my USB drive. So I can actually access the files on my USB drive and see that I have, for example, at the moment I have a software update for this particular phone because this is why I bought this adapter. So, let me explain what's actually happening at this point. A USB drive needs power to work. The phone is giving it a voltage and current, so power basically, to work and also reading data from it. So it's like plugging this USB drive into a laptop or a desktop computer with this on the go cable, uh, adapter. Let's unplug this, remove this adapter and you might be fooled into thinking let me see the side of this because this doesn't plug in any other way. Uh, that we are in the same situation. Because again we have our stick and we have our adapter into the phone. Let me just unlock my phone. And let's get out of the folder that we're in. And it's plugged in but nowhere to be found. Let me explain you what's actually happening at this point. Let's unplug this. Actually no, before I should explain and then unplug it. This thing is not USB on the go. So it is just uh, able to adapt from a uh, micro USB charging uh, cable or even data cable, doesn't uh, really matter, uh, into a USB Type-C but is unable to give voltage from the phone to this. So my USB stick at this po point is not powered on. Not being powered on, this and this cannot communicate between them. them. So an adapter of this type, if I could actually unplug it, is good for, let's see what we actually have around here, for something like this. Uh, where are you? Plug it in like that if you have a, a micro USB cable and this end plug it into something like this you can charge your mobile phone like that but with this dumb uh, adapter you cannot read data from a USB drive even if they plug one into the other it will not work so when you want to actually read data or connect a keyboard or anything that needs to be powered by the phone that you are connecting it into, you need a USB on the go cable. You might be wondering what's up with all of this. Well, uh, for example, let me move the camera, it will squeak a little bit. Sorry about that. Uh, I needed to update the software on this particular phone and it didn't work with over the air updates. Uh, I needed to put the software either on the memory card 
but on a P30 Pro the memory card is not micro SD anymore it's a uh, Huawei uh, only uh, card because they lost the right to use uh, micro SD blah 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 and it's, it's extremely expensive I wouldn't think of buying that but I can upgrade the software by using this combination I put the software on this uh, plug it into this thing and plug it into the phone and I can update the software from a USB drive first I wasn't un uh, I wasn't able to do that because I was using the dumb adapter so only after that I realized that I was doing this thing wrong and this is why I'm making this video so you know there is a difference between USB on the go and standard uh, just charging or just reading data between a phone and a computer adapters. USB on the go is able to actually power devices and not only transmit uh, data to them or a voltage to power the phone. USB on the go allows power to be uh, drawn from the phone into a device basically that's about it it's quite simple yet complicated at the same time and honestly a bit confusing <laughs> but yeah at least i hope you you understood uh, what i tried to to say in this video in which case please give it a like check out my other videos and as always see you in the next one bye